hello guys uh, welcome to uh, my channel civil 3d for civil 3d for professional spies on it uh, this is the third lesson i'm going to do with you uh, today i'm going to tell you surface creation using embedded data surface creation using embedded data so uh, before proceeding i would like to highly recommend you to uh, refer my lesson one and two because uh, it will give you a very good understanding on the surface creation and uh, other associated matters anyway uh, so <coughs> we'll go to uh, today's lesson surface creation using embedded data now what do you mean by this embedded data now i'll uh, show you a sample survey drawing it's civil 3d 2021 this is the same drawing that we used for lesson 1 also uh, but there is a difference now uh, I can show you uh, again this comes like uh, uh, now in the lesson 1 also I told you sometimes this error message comes the drawing file was saved by an application that was not developed or licensed by Autodesk what do you want to do so the reason for this error message is because the survey has developed that survey uh, the drawing file using some other software apart from the civil 3d or autocad so press continue opening drawing file now i'll show you uh, you can see here you can see here the data are embedded what do you mean by embedded embedded means the data set is in the drawing itself okay now in our lesson one what we did was uh, the survey has given the point file as well the survey had given the uh, point file as well so just think that he had not given that point file sometimes uh, the surveys do not give that so he gives only uh, this this embedded data in that case how can we uh, create the surface that is the summary of today's lesson so uh, in such a case this is not that difficult there is a method in civil 3d that you can use we call it e text method e text e a t t e x t e text method okay uh, to do that first you have to check whether now uh, you see uh, when you consider a point here there are three things what are they one is uh, kind of an annotation that is saying what is this point so you have to refer uh, refer their legend to say what is you say as a given he has to give anyway uh, just think uh, it is not there uh, so he he is having some uh, his uh, own uh, kind of uh, notations anyway it doesn't matter because uh, it doesn't matter for us because he has taken all the points okay so this is for his reference so first thing there are three notations here okay one is the description the other one is this one that is the uh, point number and this is the elevation first you have to just select the elevation all right it's there can you see it is reference to the exact point the elevation is reference to the exact point so that is good otherwise uh, to may uh, to otherwise what happens is if you want to use this method you will have to uh, refer all these uh, elevation into this exact point so since he has already reference there so that is pretty good okay other thing you can see is you can just take this one and put li to take the list and check here x is given y is given z is given okay so that is a pretty nice file why i say like that because 
if you consider this point only only the point itself it has all the details we want x is there y is there and z is there okay sometimes in some files they give they don't give all these details sometimes this is not reference to the z so in such files you get x there y there but z zero so in that case you will have to find z in some other method sometimes you, you will have to consider this one also now thankfully in this drawing the survey has referenced the point to the exact point that is he has given x y is said in civil 3d terminology east north and uh, the elevation is it right now the first thing that we are going to do you know now uh, in my previous lessons also i told you first thing we have to do is we have to take we have to get uh, our template so file new here we have our template uh, this template you can download from civil 3d sorry from the world wide web or you can create your own template now this template is so far so good so we'll open it uh, now again i told you why this uh, error message comes this drawing was last year with an earlier version of the software because that template was developed using some earlier version say maybe cv3d 2016 okay so just close it uh, then you save it file save as so you can save it as uh, surface with embedded data save and now what you do is you copy everything edit copy copy everything and then go to your surface with embedded data file uh, that is uh, the file with your template you paste this you paste it paste edit paste to original coordinates okay now it is not to be seen so you press z that is for zoom enter e that is for extend enter here is your drawing save the drawing and as a good practice Close the service drawing example survey drawing save changes no because we don't do anything uh, in the uh, service file right uh, now you can see here what you can do is you can check hmm? now the elevation is there you select this and press li to list it so in that file in uh, mm, that elevation also it is properly referenced x is there y is there z is there so we can use the e text method uh, using this elevation only so you select one elevation right click select similar then check whether everything is selected yes everything is selected so you right click it isolate objects isolate selected objects so these are only the elevation points now we are going to apply the e text method type in the command line e text e text press enter then uh, there comes uh, data extraction page this the wizard extract object data from drawing that can be exported to a table or to an external file select whether to create a new data extraction use previously saved setting from a template or edit an existing extraction so here we have to have uh, create a new data extraction because our data extraction is a new one create new data extraction go to next and then you have to save it you save it in your uh, the folder that you are working okay give a name okay I will uh, give the name surface uh, with embedded data files of type is DXE you save it 
right then there comes select objects in the current drawing select objects in the current drawing you have to tick this and from this tool bit you select objects here you can select everything press enter okay now it shows drawing files a drawing surface with embedded data current drawing so you go to next and it shows what it has selected text and then you go to next right so here in this one data extraction table it gives so many things that is being extracted from the drawing itself so all these things author color comments drawing revision everything is extracted from the drawing but we don't want any of this we want only the geometry so here the category filter that is for your convenience so you can untick all these things so we want only these things position x position y and position z okay that is they are in the geometry so you go to next so it shows what you are getting text position x position y position z okay then you go to next and uh, here comes output data to an external file you click that you tick it and then you browse to your folder okay this pc data study cv3d surface with embedded data dot xls dot xls means excel save and press next then press finish now if you go to your folder and check there uh, here surface with embedded data you open it now you can see here count name position x position y position z now in the in my first lesson i told you that in uh, the, this is the uh, file that we are going to import but in such a file you cannot have any text so all the text you have to delete and in the same time remember what is the sequence this is e n z and we have to give the point number okay so we'll remove these two delete and remove this one also delete and get one row here one and two then you can drag it down All right then you can save this as save as you go to your uh, go to your proper folder and you have to save it as csv comma delimited and if you are going to forget what is the sequence you can put surface with embedded data point you had x y z so x means e y means n and it's a P E N is -E you save it so there comes uh, a message some features in your workbook might be lost if you save it as csv comma delimiter do you want to keep using that format yes give yes and then close this okay so come back to civil 3d file and now right click isolate object end object isolation now you can uh, import those points to this file using that csv file so you go to points point creation tools import points so your uh, file format is p e n z because you remember we had x y z x is e y is n z is set p e n z comma delimited so you go uh, and select surface with embedded data open here you can see point number east in northern point elevation so you can add points to some point group 
say topo okay and then press okay so all the points will be imported so now you can see here these are the points that's been imported now can you see can you see this is say this uh, blue color one that these are the original points here this uh, magenta color one are the civil 3d points okay can you see that uh, the elevation is same here 23.302 and magenta color also 23.302 and x y is okay that is why it has come to the exact location so you have imported all your data so this is uh, now uh, it is a matter of creating the surface uh, as in the previous lessons you go to surfaces remember uh, your tool space is there if it is not there you can get it from general tool space and uh, make sure that prospector is highlighted not settings or survey or toolbox prospector should be highlighted then you go to surfaces expand it this is the default surface you have to delete it yes then create create surface right click give a name eg uh, so you can give here contour design one meter uh, maybe you can give uh, say contour existing point one and triangles whatever you prefer right then expand eg under definition uh, there you have point groups right click add and here this is the point group you created topo apply okay and then click this uh, this is your surface again you have to do uh, uh, please save the drawing again you have to give uh, the uh, break lines and boundaries so to get the break lines here this is one we, we are giving break lines as edges and uh, center line uh, so what you can do is you have to select it select similar not everything is selected yeah tie edge select select similar then you right click isolate objects isolate selected objects right then you explode them explode then flatten it flatten now in my uh, first lesson also i told you that our focus is on this road so you have to have continuous two lines for uh, the tie edges so my method is i just remove these two lines and draw a line connecting these two okay then uh, using the p edit command you can connect everything p edit select point line or multiple multiple select objects select everything p edit converts lines actions lines to point lines yes y enter enter an option join j enter first distance is zero now you can see both the lines are made polylines can you see both the lines are made polylines now if you don't feel comfortable with this color you can match the color using the match command ma enter uh, select source object select this one select destination object select this one right then uh, right click isolate objects and end, of, end object isolation and there's another line that we have to consider what is that that's the center line here uh, you select the center line right click select similar then again right click isolate objects isolate selected objects it's there you explored it and then uh, flatten it remove it lines no uh, use the p edit command 
multiple m select objects enter uh, convert lines arcs and splines to point lines yes y enter an option j join first distance is zero now you can see it is uh, just one polyline right now right right pick isolate objects end object isolation Uh, then what you can do is you can add break lines select break lines here add uh, say te tie type is proximity press ok you select here tie here another tie and then press enter ok now uh, then uh, you have to select the cent line as well so break lines right add cl type is proximity press ok select this cent line press ok then uh, save the drawing now if you want you can add the boundary but in this case of course it is not necessary because the boundaries are necessary if the uh, surface is drawn like this drawn like this why because you cannot uh, combine this point with another but here it is not necessary but if you want you can uh, use in polylines you can add a boundary like this okay please use polylines otherwise you will have uh, make it a polyline again and then see enter so here go to boundaries right click add give a name dd type is outer untick this non-destructive break line mid ordinate distance is 0 0.001 ok and then select this one so this is your final surface save the drawing and uh, then what you can do is you can export that to land xml export land xml here only this surface eg is going to be uh, exported press ok so you can give surface with embedded data xml save then save the drawing and close it and then if you go to a surface with embedded data uh, you open it with uh, microsoft edge or google chrome or whatever here you can see it is being interpreted in text it is being interpreted in text in the next lesson i will tell you how you can import this into civil 3d to be used now the advantage is just think that you create your surface here somewhere here uh, and then you can uh, send it via internet to the other part uh, to the other side of the world okay so uh, the text i mean the size is very less Okay, so then uh, thank you for watching uh, my channel.